This is Chicho again. Now, what we're going to do in this video is uh, frame Daredevil number one. I just recently got my hands on this, and uh, uh, I probably haven't mentioned this before, but I'm a comic book collector. I actually did a stint as a uh, as an independent publisher in the early '90s, and uh, I have been collecting comic books for about uh, 25 plus years or so. About 25 years, actually, a little bit more, I think. And um, every now and then I go on a little buying spree and I buy some comics and uh, uh, filter through some other comics that I might have. Uh, sometimes I sell them and then acquire more money and buy more comics, right? I sort of cycle through the things. And uh, what I do have is um, a fair bit of frames. I got a fair bit of, I get my hands on a fair bit of frames like this and really big as well. And what I've been doing is uh, framing my comic books uh, and just putting them on the wall because I like I like looking at them I like reading them um, and you will see some of the comic books that I have and um, some of the comic books that I will be reading um, I've set, put up a, a bunch of videos for that and uh, the first set of comics I will be reading is uh, some uh, anthology some collections from the golden age uh, from 1945 52 and 58 and um, we're gonna anthologies from the early 80s up to 1990 okay but for now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be reframing uh, some comics I'm gonna be taking some comics out and putting some new comics in and I got the inspiration for that uh, because I got my hands on this daredevil okay so what we're gonna do right now is take this daredevil get it ready and frame it here and this this one here is uh, showcase number 16. It's the first Silver Age appearance of uh, the Spectre. It's one of the first uh, comics I, I, that I did frame. I think it's the first comic that I framed for some reason. And uh, what we're going to do is just take this out and um, put Daredevil in it. And I'm going to do this to a few other comics as well, uh, some of the frames as I have as well. And I might show you those ones uh, just to see how this video turns out, okay? So what we're gonna do uh, first of all is take this guy out. I'm gonna put the daredevil on uh, on the side there. We're gonna put the daredevil in mylar uh, before we put it in here without a backing board. And uh, for you collectors out there, if you wanna know what great this is, this is um, there's a tear right there. There's a on top of it, right? It's hard. you don't notice it in first glance. That's one reason I did buy this. It was. Uh, it was more affordable than uh, more expensive ones, but it's uh, it's in pretty good shape. It's a little tan, it's a little yellowing, but the corners are not bad, right? It's got a nice spine to it, and the bottom's pretty good, right? So the only thing that's really hurting this comic is this tear right there, and the tanning. Um, but I like it. This is a great coffee. It's the best coffee I have, and. Uh, look at it uh, on the wall so we're just gonna put it in a frame okay so what we're gonna do is just put this on the side and first order of business is take this guy out okay so I'm gonna flip this that's gonna be the top okay now what I've done is put some heavy-duty staples here and I got some tools that I used last time to pull these things out so I'm gonna bring these guys out and take this out behind it this out. and these frames um, I was lucky enough to get a, to get my hands on a bunch of these frames that uh, someone I knew was getting rid of and they just asked me if I wanted it and I was like uh, yeah because they were doing a move and, well they had already done the move and they were just trying to make space and they didn't have time to store these things. So what I'm doing right now is uh, little metal things here. You can see them. And I'm just pulling these back and those hold uh, the mat, I guess. That's what we call this. 
or that's what they call it. I'm not an expert at this, obviously. Not an exacto knife. Let's see if we can pull this out. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's bring it out. What do we need? What do we need? Let's bring out one of these guys. You know what I'm going to do, actually? thing let's put this here behind the comic and it's taped on at the back so it's in a good position now what kind of tape did I use Ooh, these guys Packing tape. Sorry about the rough noise there. Eh? Packing tape to put this on. And that's okay. And here's the first Silver Age of Prius of the Spectre. Okay, showcase number 60. And we're gonna take this, uh, and this guy's in, uh, it's not in bad shape actually. It's uh, probably very fine. It's very fine minus, fine plus. So so we're going to put this away. And we're going to bring out the Daredevil. Okay. Now I'm going to put this aside right now because I don't want this thing getting wrecked. And what we're going to do is actually let's leave that guy there. Actually, I do want to show you guys what I do here. So I'm going to move this over. So I got myself uh, some Mylar bags, right? And I'm just gonna make sure this is gonna fit, and it is. Should we put a board behind this? Silver Age boards. I was initially going to put a board behind it, but since I've uh, got packing tape on there, I think it's a good idea. I don't want to stress out the comic. I'm just going to make sure this is a good size that it fits. Yep. And then we can fit it onto the Mylar like this, right? It actually makes it easier to go into the Mylar, so it's not a bad idea to do this. So, what we're going to do. Let's take this guy out, undo the tape, okay, so let's pull this out, and I'll show you guys what this thing that was like. of you who uh, don't know about comic book collecting it's one of the best investments you could have made uh, in the last few few decades right so the board for this uh, might as well use a fresh board right This is going to be too tight, then uh, we'll do it without the board. But this should be okay. You know what? 
it's too tight with the board. So we're not going to do it with the board. We're going to take it out. And we're going to go in without the board. It is still tight. So I'm just gonna, when I do this, um, what I end up doing, I try to level it off at the bottom and make sure the tops have protection, just the corners inside the mylar, right? I like to give these a little bit more protection. So I'm just gonna tap these. Okay, and that brings it down and it looks pretty good right now. Very centered. Pretty centered anyway. So we're gonna put this thing on the side, bring back our frame. Okay. Bring back this guy. Now I gotta center this. Let's check it out. Oh, this is a little off. about two and a quarter a little bit more and one sixteenth more two and a quarter and one sixteenth more yep that's pretty good yeah the top we don't want any more of that that's going all the way to the top that's fine Let's just measure the comic as well. The mylar is a little bit more at the top, so that's about three quarters of an inch. Uh, that's about one inch, yeah. I don't want to bring it down anymore. So that's good. I'm gonna take this out. Now what I do need to do is uh, clean the glass here. So, professional with this obviously right so, I just want to make a wall that looks pretty and this guy I'm just gonna press down a little bit without my finger so I don't leave uh, fingerprints on there and that looks clean enough around and put it back in here now this thing gets a little tough to try to put it in there these guys that's good that's good
so this thing's in there right now. I'm gonna bend the tops of these down just so it holds them. And I'm gonna flip this thing around and make sure that this thing is nicely centered. And you can tell there was another picture behind these, but I didn't like that. Uh... Oh, we have something right there. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it right there. I'm going to open it up and take that away. Oh, too bad. Otherwise, it looks great. Again it goes. Let's close these guys up. Make sure it's sitting nice. see the reflection sort of it's not showing as well and there we go it's a little bit closer you're seeing the reflections in the back and the, with the glass so we're gonna pull this back let's put all these guys back little stapler gun so this is going to sound a little short but Just enough to hold it there, right? One more on this side. There we go. Let's check this out. That's pretty. Little specks in there and stuff, but that's okay. I can live with it. 